machine learning. In this session, we will learn about how to map data set column using the map function. In other words, what I want to say is, suppose we have a data set one where we have four columns, ID, name, city, and company. And then we have a second data set which have the city and state. Now, if I want to map the city with the respective state, and I want to add that state column in this first data set, in order to do that, we'll require this map function. So in order to achieve this, I will show you two approaches. The first is we'll create manually the data set, the columns and everything. And the next, how to extract a file, how to extract a data from that Excel file, which is .xlx file. And the data, these two data set is present in the different tab. It's not present in the single tab. So how to read that and how to get that data into my Python pandas data frame. So as usual, what we'll do, we'll put the Python pandas data frame and then we will start with our processing. We will create a data frame, which is like df is equals to pd dot data frame. And then, then what we'll do, we'll add the column like id. We'll execute this. Okay, we'll go to the variable explorer and we'll open this. So we have this uh, data set is created. We have, a, we'll create a dictionary city to underscore state which is equals to so we have created this dictionary this is keys and this is the value okay so this dictionary is also created now we will add a column state to our data set df using this dictionary and using the dot map function which i have set here map data to map data set using the map function df dot df city dot map and what, what we are mapping we are mapping this dictionary so if you open now this df this respective state is added so this is what i wanted to show in this session now once this is done what if my data set is present a, is in a dot csv file or sometime it will be an xlx file so i have never shown how to read it uh, dot xlx file so and that we know to the data is present in a two different uh, tabs so what we will do we'll say df this is my data set city hyphen state dot x if i read like this df1 will be created okay now if we execute this the df1 is created okay but what i have shown here we have two different like tabs the first tab contains this data and the second tab contains this data so what we will do so df1 comma if we give zero and We'll give df2 comma zero means it will read the first tab and df2 like when we give here one it means it will read the second tab so if we execute this now we'll have df1 which contains the name city company and df2 which contains the respective city and and the state so this is much clear now the main intention what we want is we want to uh, write a program that will map this city with the respective set and it will create a new column here. So for that, we need to create a dictionary like what we have created here. We have done the mapping. So now we don't have this. Uh, we have this as a column of a different data set. It's not written in the same data set. So what we will do and how we will do is very simple. So we will write city to underscore state one, which is we'll create a dictionary object and we will get a zip and our data set two dot city comma we have two dot execute this and your dictionary is created so the cities and the respective states name is like populated and with the with this dictionary now what we need to do is we need to add the column the sole intention is this after the company name you need to add that column state so how we will do very simple we'll give df1 state is equals to df1 city dot again we'll use a map function so if you open this df you can see this state is added and we are getting the proper result okay so this is also like when we do a lookup in excel you look the value and you uh, look up the value in one column and then you want the respective uh, value of the column to be pasted there so this is how the shortcut method we can use and 
like save over time so that's it for this session thanks a lot for watching the session if you feel this video is helpful please press the like button and subscribe to this channel and i'll see you in the next video which is related to finding the values of one column in another so i'll be coming up very shortly thank you